Now that the template has been successful installed, before we start working on this, there is a few things that we need to do and we need to first analyze the template. Now there are five different checkpoints that I go through when analyzing this particular template and it's very important that you analyze the template before you start because this is going to give you a clear idea of the direction that we want to go with this particular course. So the first thing that we want to analyze is the layout. And as you can see from this particular layout, it has a media fill, a video, you know, it has like a lot going on. And whenever you're designing video websites, you need to have a, a certain type of layout, a certain type of design, a certain type of fill. When you check out any video sharing website from YouTube to Vimeo and other sites, they have a certain fill to them. And you want to just scroll to the bottom of this particular template. And this lets you know where content is located you know what looks good where what you want to keep what you want to delete so by analyzing the template and just going through the layout you have a good idea of where you may want to add things or you may not want to add certain things so i've just gone through and just did a, a very basic check of the layout so now i have a pretty good idea of where things are located in this template and how i may want to delete some or keep some things the next thing that we need to do is to analyze the module position so click on the template put your mouse on here and you go to module positions the module positions allow you to see where things are located in this particular template every template has module positions some has more and some have less and with this particular template here you have the logo this is where the logo you know of course goes and you have the banner top which is this top right here and you have different positions here now you don't have to utilize every single position in the template but this lets you know if you wanted to add different things whether it's video or text or banner or something else you can utilize all these different spots here that you see on the template and once you've done that then we need to take a look at the module variations the module variations allow you to add unique styles to your your modules and the positions that you just saw when you apply what's called a suffix to them you get this fill so if you put this color one you're gonna get a red and let's scroll down to the bottom here if you put in light you're gonna get this gray background if you put in color you're gonna get this red background and if you put in dark and scroll to the bottom you have some more here so this gives you an idea of how it's going to look when you use this suffix and I'm going to go in more details in that later on but I just wanted to give you an overview of what's to come so once you've you've gone through the module variations you want to take a look at the typography next and the typography allows you to style different content on your page for example you have this warning here if you want to style this particular um, something to look just like this where you have this chat bubble or this light bulb or this X there's certain code that is very basic nothing you know hardcore you just put in something there and it shows just like this and you want to scroll down you see the headings here is showing you the different types that you can utilize and the highlights and you have the underscore the number num blocks and you have the blocks the legends and block codes and you have you know different things so what you want to do is you want to check out the typography the typography lets you know the flexibility of that given template so you know exactly what to do how to do it or where and if you want to do it so as you see here the web application icons you have a vast choice that you can utilize any one of these just by simply inputting this code uh, this text here on the back end to get that effect so we're not going to utilize every single thing here in terms of typography you know you can you know if you want to enhance some certain features you can certainly do that but I just want to you know get your feet wet. I just want you to have an idea of the features that you have with this particular template it gives you so much flexibility with what you can do all right so let's go back to the home page now that we've we've gone through the typography and we know what to expect let's take a look one more at the ad space 
this right now has several ad spots this means that you can you know sell ad space or put banners or ad sense here at the very top you have one and you have another one here with the news podcast and you have another one here at the left column and it's just scroll down you have another one here and at the very bottom of the page you have one more that lets you know that you can utilize those sections to, to put ads on there. But for this course, I'm not going to utilize all those those spaces only because I wouldn't recommend that, you know, you utilize all of those because it looks too spammy. When you're creating a, a website, one of the things that you want to be cautious about or be mindful about is that people are coming there to get great content. They don't want to have ads all over. You know, just think about when you visit websites, you don't want to have ads every single corner. So you want to keep that in mind. So we're going to be utilizing just this top here above the fold and, you know, just slightly below the fold with this one right here. We're going to change those to something different. So once you've done those basic preliminary analysis, you are now ready to start working on the site.